I just got back from the mailroom and we have a special mail call. He just sent us a complete All right, this is from our good buddy of the channel, Gary Moore. And Gary sent us a box, and I have no idea what's inside it. So we're gonna open it. God, these Postal Service mailers, they're tricky to open. I mean, they're great boxes. All right, what did you send, Gary? Oh, there's a note. All right, hey, Joey, after watching episode 66, which was great, by the way. Execute episode 66. I picked up on the fact that you needed a few items that I can spare. Please find enclosed a complete emperor's guard. No way. A rear yeast weapon, I have that. An Akbar staff, I just have that. All are original. I'm really enjoying this epic journey, so keep up the good work. May the force be with you, Gary. All right, the rear yeast weapon and the Akbar staff. Gary, if you want those back, I can give them back. Or I can raffle them off to members of the Padawan Academy who really need those weapons. And if you're not on the Padawan Academy on Facebook, go join right now. So first off, Gary, let me know if that's cool because Gary has the first dibs on taking these things back. But if Gary wants to donate these two things to somebody on the Padawan Academy, let's hold a raffle. There's gonna be two people out there who need these accessories. Yeah, let's raffle them off and give them to two people who really need those accessories. And this note is gonna go inside my scrapbook. All right, so let's check out this Emperor's Royal Guard. Oh my God. So here's the accessories, and we have the shock spear for the Emperor's Royal Guard. We also have the gold, very original to reuse his rifle. And when I was a kid, it looked like the exhaust pipe you see on diesel engines. And when I saw this rifle, in my head, I thought that this rifle was powered by gasoline. And when I would use it on reyes, it sounded like an engine, like a vroom. So that was inside my head. If it's inside your head now, you're welcome. That's why I loved reyes so much as a child, um, his original rifle. And last but not least, Gary sent us the staff for Akbar. And I would love for two of you to receive these two things on a raffle that I would love to host on the Padawan Academy. If you don't need it, don't join the raffle, and I'm only gonna do it on the Padawan Academy on Facebook. But now, let's take a look at this Emperor's Royal Guard. And here it is. Wow, what? an immaculate looking figure. Now this figure comes with a wraparound soft goods cloak that you can't take off. This is permanently sewed on. So if you really want to look at the figure, like the country of origin stamp and the Lucasfilm limited copyright, you'll have to peel up this like an onion and see all that copyright information and to see the details of the figure that's underneath. I don't like doing that that much. I just like looking at the figure as it's meant to be looked at, but there are zero frays on this figure. The arms, I can't even move them. They are uncracked limbs, the legs and the arms. Um, I can't see any paint degradation on this figure whatsoever. Um, even on the helmet, you'll see oversprays from the black on the helmet mold. This is non-existent. There are no scuffs on this helmet mold and often you'll see that, and that's just from regular play. This is in perfect condition, and this is gonna be one of the figures inside my display case that I'm gonna display with absolute pride. So once again, Gary comes through and gives us a beautiful looking figure for the collection. The Emperor's Royal Guard was first released in 1983 on the first wave of the Kenner Return of the Jedi line of action figures on the 65A cardbacks. The figure comes in its red soft goods outer cloak and soft goods inner cloak, and it comes with its gray colored spear. And as reported by rebelscum.com, it's important to note that if you want to remove the Royal Guard's cloak to view the figure without them, a figure has to be permanently affected. Even though you can take off a cloak without any noticeable damage, they are not meant to be removed and could destroy an otherwise perfect figure. The Return of the Jedi marked a special design change for Star Wars action figures, the end of the vinyl cape options. 
And there were several Star Wars action figures who were made in the original Star Wars line and Empire Strikes Back line of figures that have soft goods accessories. Can you name who they are? Pause this video, get a pen and paper, and write them down. Okay, let's go over all the figures that had soft goods accessories before the Return of the Jedi. There was first the cloth cape Jawa, Yoda in whatever variant you want to put him in, the Ugnaughts, blue or purple smock, and if you want to count him, Forlom, who had a pleather trench coat. And after the Return of the Jedi, there was no looking back as all of the figures who came with capes, cloaks, skirts, and hoods all received soft goods accessories. And as for the Emperor's Royal Guard, looking on the Star Wars tracker for current prices, prices went up ever so slightly from last year, but staying steady at a low average price of $34 and a high average at $48. So let's cross off this figure from our list as gifted from Gary M. And that's what the G stands for, gifted. And let's place this figure in our collector displays case and we are now starting to fill up our return of the Jedi Rose and getting closer to our goal. And one more thing. Last episode, we went through a heartbreaking box opening where we purchased a complete set of the Burger King glasses and found a few broken. Go back and watch that suspenseful episode and get the history of the Burger King glasses as well as a history lesson on Rancho Obi-Wan to learn about oddball items. So please go back and watch that episode. But we were able to salvage some of the broken glasses by using doubles that we already collected. But we were still missing one glass from the Return of the Jedi, the Emperor's throne room scene that depicted Vader fighting Luke Skywalker. And we were able to work out a deal with the seller where he kindly and quickly reimbursed me $30. And I have to give a special shout out to Sam who I bought these from and who was so understanding and cool about the whole thing. Well, I just happened to stop by my favorite local vintage toy shop at TC's Rockets right here in San Diego, and they just happened to have the exact glass that I needed, and I was able to pick up that glass for an awesome price of $10. The glass is in amazing condition, and I'm able to finally complete my entire set of the Burger King glasses. And the back of the glass reads, in the Emperor's throne room, Luke Skywalker confronts Darth Vader in a desperate lightsaber battle. The Emperor, supreme ruler of the galaxy, is accompanied by a red helmeted Emperor's royal guard and one of the Imperial dignitaries. So this completes my Burger King glass set. And if you found this video interesting, please hit that like button. It does support the channel. And please subscribe if you want to see more Star Wars collecting content. And also, hit that notification bell so you can know when videos go live. I post videos every Sunday with bonus episodes on Wednesday and Saturday. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.